is nothing to be attained. Nothing. I mean, nothing. <laughs> Have I said it? Not one thing is to be attained. Nothing. <laughs> there is not a single thing to be attained. Have I said it? There is no experience, no vision, no transformation of state. You know, all the traditions serve your need to change your state because you are suffering. Because the dilemma is the condition you acknowledge in your deep unconscious life. You feel in need, so you are motivated to overcome it. And the traditions all serve that. And so you become motivated to pursue changes of state. And all the traditions of life and of spirituality, all of the cultic existence of man, is a road to changes of state. But no change of state is necessary for the realization of truth. Sacrifice in place is the condition of realization, not accumulation of new conditions of any kind. Heavens, visions, kriyas, forces, all of those things are changes of state, accumulations that act like a hedge around the ego to protect it from its fear of obliteration. So none of those things are necessary. All that the worlds are, are in themselves changes of state. There's no doubt about that. And they will continue. It's not necessary to zip into the soup of non-transformation. What is necessary is to realize the principle of sacrifice so that change may become the principle of existence without fear. Then all things will be given to you that are necessary and appropriate. But you will stand happy and full of humor in the midst of life. The traditional image of spiritual life that has come down for centuries is the ladder or the way of ascent going to the place beyond, to heaven, to the divine above the world. The ladder or some such archetype is image of spiritual attainment. In other words, perfect change of state. But it is absolutely false, and yet it is the principal archetype of spirituality. It is not for the divine apart and above and elsewhere and at another time to be attained in the midst of some condition or other that you may or may not imagine. That is not the truth. The truth is the present one, the absolute divine that may not be attained, that, that may not be ascended to, that does not even descend upon you but which is perfectly your present condition. And such is realized only in the sacrificial realization of your perfect condition, the heart, the very self, the absolute intuition of the very God. That is the truth.